Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to do something completely different and out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> One of my artist friends, Nikki D, has this technique and it's just gorgeous. And I and I'm totally not trying to recreate her style because it is just, I mean, she just perfected it. But uh, you know, we do do something similar with like the scoop and drags, how I pick up the paint. And uh, I really like what she's been doing with her pieces where she's kind of, making it more flowy than you know cell worrying about cells in it and so that was kind of the inspiration for what i wanted to do today i've got some paints that have been sitting around and i love kind of experimenting with uh, new or different techniques when uh, i have old paint sitting around that i need to use up otherwise i'm gonna have to throw them away so that's what we're gonna do today so let's go get started all right, we are gonna go over the colors, the cell activator, and then the pillow. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I, I normally show you the consistencies, but we've got a lot of colors here. It's it's uh, use up colors day for Jody. Sometimes I like to try new things uh, just to get rid of some paint that's been sitting around for a while. And today's the case for that. So uh, I'm gonna just quickly pan over everything. If you wanna see consistencies, you can see them in one of my other videos, but everything up here until you get to the piggies this is all mixed with my valspar varathane pouring medium mix and this is the praj posse persian autumn yellow this is joe sonia ultramarine deep blue this is joe sonia dioxazine purple this is golden fluid napthal red medium and then this is atelier cobalt turquoise light hue then we have Vallejo Acrylic Fluid, the uh, fluorescent pink. And then these three piggies are mixed with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia Pouring Medium Mix. And then this is Golden Peach, this is Pinwheel, and then this is Mosh. And all of this information will be pictured at the end of the video, as well as in the description box below the video per usual. So <laughs> now the cell activators that I have, I've got my two usual suspects. I've got the black, this is Atelier Interactive Mars Black. And then this is the two golds I like to mix together. The uh, Preview Studio Acrylics, the uh, Precious Gold, and then the Atelier Interactive Pale Gold about a half a part each to make up the one part paint. These are both mixed with Australian Floetrol, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint. And then for my pillow, I have got my PPG Multi Pro. Hopefully there is just enough left. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring it over to the canvas now. We're gonna do everything in the spinner box. And so I'll explain a little bit more what I'm gonna do. So let's go get started painting. All right, for today's piece, I have got a 12 by 16 standard canvas that I have taped up the back and my idea is as I mentioned I wanted to kind of try a Nikki D piece where I'm going to flood this with the pillow and we're going to put a lot of our paints uh, down here and we're going to swipe and we're just going to kind of pull it up but I think I want to kind of go this way to kind of leave hopefully leave some negative space but I'm going to kind of as I pull up I'm going to keep in mind to kind of go higher this way so we kind of have a defining line here and I might just put some, some background shimmer in there as well that's my idea we all know how ideas work <laughs> but I just wanted to try something fun and different a little bit out of my wheelhouse just to use up some uh, paint that's been laying around here so I'm gonna get this flooded and then we're gonna get started painting all right I've got this all flooded and while I was flooding it I decided I was going to use my uh, white cell activator as well and this is so I just thought I'd show you but this is this is actually Amsterdam titanium white again mixed with Australian Floetrol uh, at four to one all right I'm just going to start layering probably like right here and it's going to be very haphazardly I have this is completely new for me and we're just going to have fun with the paint today That was the dioxazine purple. This is the ultramarine blue. And this is the cobalt turquoise. And then we've got the hot pink. 
think I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with the uh, the golden peach and the pinwheel. I'm gonna I think what I'm I, I've decided I'm gonna kind of swipe a little bit of a background up here, just a little bit. But I'm also gonna put them in down in here. Just golden peach next. And then we're going to do the yellow. And then the pinwheel. Just a little bit of the mosh. I don't want it, sometimes it takes over. I don't want it to take over. I just want a little bit in there. Same with the red. It takes over, so we're just going to try and Keep it on the lighter side like that. Those are all the colors we're going to lay down. I'm going to, let's see, what do I want to do? I'm going to swipe this first because I want to want, I'm going to want it to fill in before we start pulling and then I'm going to do some of those sparkly swipes up here. All right, for this one, I'm going to use this, uh, this swipe tool. I'm going to add the cell activators and I'll show you and then we're going to swipe this so that this can kind of settle in. All right, I've got the black cell activator and then the gold cell activator. Nothing fancy. All right helped it out with my straw just a little bit. We're gonna let this fill in and I'm gonna do um, swipes up here just kind of for background and then we're gonna kind of have fun pulling this up. Right. I've got the white cell activator, then I have the golden peach and then the pinwheel. And I'm gonna start this swipe just right in the middle. It does not need to be perfect at all. I just want some kind of any kind of background color. I'm digging that. I'm liking that. We're gonna leave that as is and I'm just gonna start playing. I'm gonna spin this. over. Let's bring this over. This 
is so different. <laughs> totally out of my wheelhouse, but I'm kind of digging it. Oh my gosh, this is looking really cool. <laughs> Some of my paints blended weirdly, but I'm okay with it. This was fun. It almost looks like the kelp that you see underwater, like in lakes or oceans, just kind of streaming up. I want to take it this way if I'm able to. That's better. That red wasn't really getting to me. All right, let's bring this over just a little bit more. I like where this is going. Right there. I'm good. This is completely different and totally out of my wheelhouse, but I am really digging it. I'm glad I took this red off. That was, it was kind of like a ugly green red. There's a little bit of it down here, but it's kind of like the murkiness coming into a little bit of the brightness. And I think the, the background, once it dries, will lend a nice shimmer to it. So I'm going to let this uh, dry and we're going to see what happens. So I'm counting this as a winner, winner chicken dinner. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover. All right, here it is as a whole. I, I'm i dubbing this rainbow kelp. It totally reminds me of kelp, especially this murky green down here, which I'm glad I was able to get off over on the, that, uh, on the right side there. But the more I look at it, the more I'm really digging it. And there's some really neat subtle shimmers in here and in the background. So I'm just going to dive in and kind of show you what's going on in here. And this was so much fun. I mean, look at all, there's going to be some really nice shimmers in here if you can see all of that. And I wasn't worried about any cells. I just wanted, you know, the flow and just kind of moving around. And you can kind of see a little bit of that background in there but I just love how it kind of floats up higher you know it's really dark towards the bottom but it's just light and eerie towards the top too and uh, I'm really digging this piece and <laughs> not gonna lie it's, it's not for everyone but I love that right there even though it made like this weird green I, I totally dig it not gonna lie I'm so excited to see how this dries. So I will be back once this just dries to show you the dried results. Here she is all dried and gosh, I just love this piece. I, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't a hundred percent with it at first because it kind of got a little bit murky at the bottom, but I, I also like the, sto the story that it tells. And uh, you know, after it dried, I'm, I'm totally in love with it. And uh, I, I'll show you, there are some really nice shimmers and I'll show you that in a few minutes and also a couple of different orientations I like. But this is my favorite orientation and this was really just so much fun. Let me dive in and just kind of show you. I mean, not a lot of cell action, which is totally fine. I was looking for more of just the the colors and the movement and I'm still dubbing this rainbow kelp. <laughs> it just reminds me of, of the sea kelp and just, just so beautiful. I completely different, but equally just beautiful. I'm definitely going to uh, give this a go again, maybe on a bigger scale too, but let's go, let's go check out the shimmers under the light now. You can see that background playing out. It did add a nice little shimmeriness to it. And then that gold cell activator, 
a bunch of other paints in here too. I, it's, it's just so pretty. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to complain about this piece at all. Let's go check out some other orientations. I really like it on the side as well. Actually, that gives me an idea for uh, doing another piece like this, but uh, going on the, uh, the long side, but I like, I like this orientation. This orientation isn't bad either. I, uh, <laughs> I'll show you it upside down, but it looks kind of weird. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe it has its place, but I, my favorite is definitely right side up and, uh, I do like it on both sides. So I'm going to flip you around for my final thoughts. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite orientation. I absolutely love this piece. This was so much fun to do. Nikki, thank you so much for the inspiration on this technique. I'm excited to try it even bigger. I feel like this can work out really well on a really big canvas and I'm, I'm heading that way. <laughs> let me know. I would love to hear your favorite orientation and how you liked this piece. So let me know in the comments below. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.